now we have s11 Now this is a ZEMP and we want to have a lock for this. We want to lock in such a way that if anyone is updating the data, then others should not be able to update the data. So this is a lock mechanism that we have. Let us first implement the lock mechanism for this and then we'll go ahead with uh, theoretical explanation. So we have Z, so I'm just giving that EZ lock one. So EZ is something which we need to start the lock with. Okay, this is what you need to remember. Lock. Otherwise, I'll go for EZ VA. EZ VA lock. Okay, one. Now, this is the lock that we would like to apply. Remember this again. I'm, I'm repeating. You should start this with EZ. Okay, all the throughout the ABAP, everything should start with Z, but this particular thing should start with E. Now here, what will happen is like we'll go for the tables and here we'd like to give the table name and the table name that we wanted to have is ZEMP. Let me check if the ZEMP is fine. Okay, uh, this just has two, two fields actually. Let me take another one. Okay, so this is Z employee 2. Let me quickly check first Z employee 1. Okay, Z employee 2. So I'll take this one Z employee 2 and I'll go for this Z employee 2. Now write lock. So what we'll do is we are writing a lock here, and in this, uh, when we are writing the lock, we can add the fields for which you want to add the lock. Lock parameters. We have client and we have employee. So these are the primary primary fields for which we would like to apply the lock. Okay, just save it. Okay, so we have this tables so now we are we have written a lock for this employee too wherein we can now we can no one can update this data without our knowledge of uh, no, uh, without our uh, concern Now we have here we have go to and in the go to we'll have something called uh, uh, this one lock modules. So if you see the lock modules, you know you just need to activate this first. We have applied this lock and go to go to lock modules. And these are the thing, these are the two things that we have here. Okay.
so these are the modules that auto auto gets auto generated here this is release lock on object and a request lock on object so if you want to release the lock you have to use this function module dq ezva lock one and um, request lock nq ezva lock one so these are the two things that we have here so we can either lock or unlock now once you have established this uh, lock mechanism we can now go ahead and write the logic in a program now in the program we can write the logic to uh, to lock the mechanism, to lock the program, we can do it or unlock the program. All that we have to do is we have to call this uh, uh, call this uh, DQ DQ function module if you want to release it, and NQ function module if you want to lock it. Okay, so let me copy this I'm going to see 37 now execute now here when we say debug execute it's now logged okay I've just uh, you know um, executed it and it's logged and uh, when we when we run this uh, dq dq function module when we run this dq function module it will be unlocked Unlocked in the sense that values in the in the table can be updated. Okay, so this is uh, something which got run, run. So we can we can call this into a function, or we we can call this to, into a proper program and then run it. Okay, this stuff you can do. It, but right now, what we have done is we just uh, created two function models one is nq and dq nq uh, function model nq underscore that uh, lock object is for locking it and dq is for unlocking it so going forward you can also check out the program which makes use of this uh, nq and dq function models